Well, what's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we finished the mess hall and the cryo chambers. Now, there is one problem. Uh, this was confirmed to me. I mentioned it in the last episode as a suspicion, but it was confirmed, unfortunately. Um, the cryo chambers in here. The port on the back is supposed to be for oxygen, so that you don't die while in cryo tubes. <sighs> that means this won't work. Um, well, this will work, but not as it is right now. So that means we get the fun job of fixing that. Now, my theory that I want to test, I'm not going to do all of them, I don't think, unless it's just really easy to do all of them. Uh, but my theory at the moment is to use the conveyor tubes for the interior. Uh, let's see, what would be a good one? I think these and maybe one of these should do the trick. Um, so, yeah, wait, whoa, 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 that's... Oh, that's not bad. That looked way darker than it actually is. Um, okay. So let's see if we can't track down this conveyor, or this, uh, cryogenics room. Let's see, it should be right here. I think. Yep. Now, are you floaty? Or can I build here? Can't recall if I attached them to the wall or not. Uh, the other thing, I have no real good way to test to see if, um, well, no, there might be a way. There might be a way. Give me an oxygen generator. Oxygen. Wait, what? Are you joking? Oh, I got one of the modded ones. Never mind. Okay. So if I were to put this here, it's red at the moment, but then let's put one here. Okay. So that'll work. Theoretically. Um, okay, so what I need to do, because the reason I question that is there's two ports. There's one on the back and one on the bottom, but I wasn't sure if they were interchangeable. So this one, what I need, let's see if I can get this angled right. Okay, so what I need is for the port to go that way out the top and out of the bottom. So then placing that there, we should be able to see them. Yep, okay. Oh crap, I should be doing this in mirror mode. Oh, sweet! I already am. Sweet! That was one too many blocks. Okay. So now with these, we need to make sure that we have the ports facing left, right, and up. And in doing so, we should be able to connect all of these ports. Now, technically speaking, I uh, probably should have done a cap on the end instead, but meh, I don't really care. Oh, wait, whoa, what is that? That was not the right block. Okay, how about this one? There we go. Oh wait. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I was I was too far over. Okay. Same thing here. We want to make sure it's going the right way. 
Ooh, no, 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 no. Wrong block. Like that. And then one more. Alrighty. Okay, so it should be on all sides. Cool. And again, we're gonna leave the last one. Ooh. Wait a minute. Crap, 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 crap. I did not get the last one over here. Dang it. Please tell me that is a wall. Dang, damn it. Okay, well, we might have to trim this room, to be honest. We're gonna have to make it one smaller, which isn't a big deal. We already have way more cryopods than we actually need. So that's okay. Um, I wish there was a better way to see where these blocks are going, though. Okay, that's what I need. Put that there. And we'll put that there. Then we can put this back. Uh, yeah, we're totally just going to knock that down by one row. I think will be the easiest solution. Actually, let's just go in through the floor if we can. Okay. Now, go up and go out. Alright. And I apologize for the frame rate. There's not really a whole lot I can do about it at this point. Um, kind of one of those my imagination is getting the best of my computer, it would seem. So, uh, yeah. In case it wasn't already blatantly clear to everyone else, if you're just tuning in or something, um, this is definitely not going to end up being my survival build ship because quite frankly it's just too performance taxing on my computer that there's no way it would be able to continue to run it at this level i wish it could this would be like an amazing ship to run around in but i think the idea here is it got it, the ship just got too large like the project just got way bigger than it was supposed to Oh wow, look at that frame rate. Woohoo! Baller! Um, yeah, the project just got way out of hand, basically. <laughs> For lack of a better term. Alright. Thruster room. Thruster room coming up. Oh, one other thing that I meant to... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I hate these ramps so much. Um, is this the right color? I don't think it is. It is not. It looked way too light. Um, one other thing I was going to bring up. Um, from today's episode through... Let's see, it'll probably be Sunday's episodes, I think? Um, all of these episodes until then, or through then, I should say, not until, um, are going to be kind of bulk recorded, and I have to, uh, for lack of a better term, I've, I've kind of got to apologize ahead of time if, um, if they end up being a little bit like there's a lot of monotonous stuff or not as much editing like cutting wise and cutting out like this episode normally with the frame rate the way that this is I would cut out a lot of this but I'm not really cutting it and some of you may be wondering why uh, the biggest reason is I've got a uh, family thing that I'm doing over the weekend and I'm not going to be in town I'm gonna to be out of town so 
I'm kind of doing as much recording as I can to cover it, and I'll probably try and do like scheduled uploads type of deal. I don't really know how to build this, to be honest. So anyways, that's kind of the dealio. If, uh, if you're kind of like, man, normally he cuts more stuff out, or has more of the game's performance in mind and stuff like that, that's kind of what's going on. Uh, Alright, I gotta turn this off. That red film just bothers my eyes after a minute. Okay, so... I might have to make a stairwell to this thruster, if it's even necessary. It's not. It's not. It's not even necessary. Alright, hold on. I have an idea. Let's see if I can pull this off. I'm trying to... There we go, that'll work. I think. Oh, come on, really? My antivirus thing has been popping up like every 10-15 minutes going, you need to update your antivirus, and it's like, go away, dude. Alright, now this is an interesting situation here. I hope this is all still attached. If not, I'm gonna be in a pickle. Oops, wrong way. Dang it. Why can these things never just go the way they're supposed to? Alright, turn that off, because I can't tell which way it's going. There we go. <sighs> Alright, um... I know I just mentioned about cutting, but I do think I'm going to cut this just for a second and do some refining, mostly because the frame rate is just really bad. And I'm trying to get stuff done, but I don't want to put you guys through this any further, so let me see if I can finagle this walkway around at least, and then we'll work on thruster placement or something. I don't know. So I'll be back in a second. Alright, so I think the catwalks are done. Uh, so what we have here is we come out of this section and then we walk this way. When we get down to here, we can go left and go down this ramp, which will lead to the basically forward thruster area. Um, and then we've got this way, which when you turn right is going to branch out and kind of be our reverse um, vertical, you know, all that, all the other ones. I think the back one will have more than just the forward thruster, though. Um, it might have forward and reverse, and then the sides here will have left, right, up, down, something like that. I'm going to play around with it a little bit. And then if we go this way, I'm going to make this the gyroscope room, where you could maintain your gyros. Um, so basically, like, right here would be the doorway, and then the rest of this is going to be side-to-side -side and vertical uh, gyroscopes, I think. Uh, so that the ship can move fairly decently. So yeah, the next phase is going to be the walls. I'm going to have to construct the walls. This part is going to be the most tricky um, because we can't actually do a wall space here. Actually, come to think of it, I may move this ramp over one, like do the ramps down and then cut over at a different angle just to avoid that actual problem. Uh, so let me play around with that, and I will see you guys momentarily. Alrighty, so good news, bad news. Um, the good news is, these thrusters are working pretty well at this segment, this distance. They don't damage anything, aren't hurting anything. I did break the frame a little bit, but that's okay. It was kind of a, uh, kind of a little bit of a as-needed frame, not particularly a concrete ironclad thing. Anyways, 
Um, I might have to extend that walkway a little bit. Oh, I'm missing a thruster. How did that happen? Anyways, one big problem that I ran into is this. I put it too close. That's not gonna work. Um, yeah. So, we're gonna have to move this back. By one. Which really didn't make a ton of sense to me, actually, but whatever. Let's, uh, tell you what. Let's get rid of this section here. We're going to place another row here, and I'm wondering if I should do another row just as a buffer. Eh, we don't need it. We'll do like this. Okay. And then we'll just run... I'm just gonna give us a couple of... spaces here. Not sure if this is entirely accurate or not, but whatever. Get rid of that a little bit. Clean that up. Okay. So we knew we were gonna have to add more of these... We'll also need to add at least a row. Let's see what that does. Come on, place. Thank you. So yeah, I did double check and the thruster damage is on. Destructible blocks is on. So if it was going to break anything, it should have been breaking stuff. And in my, in my tests, it does not seem to break things. So this is really good. Um, I also tested out how many gyroscopes I'm using, and it seems to work very well. I do have a decent amount of gyroscopes, but it does seem to work fairly well. So, there's that. Um, I had my little test pilot seat over here. Get rid of that now. So here's the gyroscope room. I'm using the armored ones because you can stack them way easier. And I have two rows of one, two, three, four, five. Five, so 10 to each side, so 20, so 40 gyroscopes total. And it moves pretty well. I don't want to move it right now because of the frame, what little frame we have going here. <clears throat> um, so yeah. And this seems to work, four in each direction seems to work pretty well also. Um, now, theoretically, we could actually do this all in one room, but I like doing it this way. Though I do see an issue with our structural design here, right here. That's going to be a problem. Because up until this point, we have these blocks going. Well, it's not a problem. We'll just fix it. Nothing is a problem in creative mode, because you can just, you know, place down new, new blocks. Problem solved. Okay. Um, so as you can see, I've been kind of working out the spacing for the pathways. I don't know how exactly I'm going to do... Oh, wrong color. Ugh. Um, I don't know how exactly I'm going to do the... Uh, the awnings for the area here. That's my only detail I'm kind of not sure of. Um, I guess the simplest solution would be to use the ramps as a type of maybe like this kind of deal. Maybe. Um, can I spin this around, maybe, so that that's facing, yeah, that could work, possibly. My, my issue here is that we don't have this theme running up here, we just have straight blocks, so I'm thinking we'll more than likely just do straight blocks. Let's, let's try that theory. 
can do like this. Get rid of these. Or, well, actually, hold on a minute. Maybe like this. And then... Do something... Like this? Perhaps? Mayhaps? see how that looks. So if we're in here... I mean, yeah, you end up looking at this blank whatever, but I just, I don't know what else to do with that. We, Like I said, we could do an awning here or a ramp. Um, we could even do... Ooh, actually, I didn't think about that. We could do... Do-do-do. do a block like that. What does that look like? Eh, it doesn't look terrible, but it kind of separates the theme a little bit as to what we've had going. Wait, is this the right color again? No. That would help. So I'm thinking we'll probably just do that, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, unfortunately, we're, this is taking way longer than I expected, so I don't think I'll be able to complete this in this episode, but we do have the back thrusters and the front thrusters working. Um, and I wasn't thinking about doing it on both sides, because if we put ones like these on both sides, um, we'll actually be... We only need one direction on each side. And then we would just need up and down. We've been doing four in each... Alright, so let's let's at least try and get the... The... Blah. Mm -hmm. That. The, uh... <laughs> the thrusters done. We can work on the rest of it later. But let's at least get the thrusters in play. Um, and I'm going to put an end cap here. Because that's about where the frame is going to go. Give or take. The frame might be a little bit wider than I initially anticipated just because of the back and all that being different dimensions. Okay. Uh, from here, we're let's start off with a three wide... I'm just going to drag that out because I don't know how much room I'm going to actually need. Um, and we'll go ahead... Oh wait, no, this is on the bottom, okay. And do one of these. Now, I'm going to do both sides, but I just want to experiment a little bit here with one side. And so we need we need sideways ones, and if we do two on each side, we'll have four like we needed. So if we do two like this, come on. So that would take care of forward, backward, left, and right if we do it on the other side as well. But now we need up and down. Um, I'm almost wondering if we should build off of the back here and do another layer. Let's try that. This is going to be this kind of material anyway. So let's go ahead and put that there. Um, we'll go ahead and make the same length and width for this one. For row 2. Now for vertical... We can do... We need to leave a space for the wall. So let's do one and two. And how many blocks are between each one of these that I've got? Just two. Okay. So from here we'll do one, two, block. Okay. I'm going to trim that off there so that we can bring this out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's too many. Where am I getting too many from? I don't know. Maybe it's not too many. I thought it was too many. 
whatever. Alright, now we'll flip these. I think, I think that's centered. No, it's not. Okay. We'll do like this. And then we can do like this. So theoretically, that should be the same distance. There's one, two spaces, and this has... Oh, this has one. That might be a problem. My bad. I miscalculated. Normally I'm pretty good at that. Alright, so let's go... Let's get rid of this, too. And then we'll just add... one. Now there's one, two... But we need to... Ah, that's what I didn't do. We have to account for... Um... Oh, we can just go ahead. Well... No, we won't. Um... The part that I messed up there is we have to account for um, the actual block that the thruster takes up, not just the space between it. That's what I screwed up. Okay. So place one there, place one there. So that's the same amount of space between each thruster as what's down here. Or at least it should be. Man, my frames are getting awful. I'm sorry about that. I didn't expect this ship build to take this long, but it's just going crazy. Okay, now, with that in mind, we don't actually need this much room over here. Uh, though, it may not hurt if we make this the wall. So let's trim that. And we'll put... Hey, let's replace the block with the same block. He he he. I'm smart. Okay. So now what I need to do is bring this one out, and we'll go. What is it? One two three. One two three. I wanna do it. like that. So now we should have the same amount of space on each side. I mean the same amount of thrusters. Sorry. On each side we have four going right, four going left, four going up, four going down, four going forward, and four going back. And these are set up to where they shouldn't do any block damage. I don't know 100% for sure, but I don't think... I don't think that this structure will cause any problems with the hull design, I hope. So anyways, I think that'll do it for the thrusters, and next we'll be just kind of filling all this stuff in, um, while also doing the front end with the bigger weapon and the airlock. I think that's really all we have left to do. We have the airlock, the main front weapon area. We have to configure the thing as we build the hull with turrets and such. But I'm pretty sure that's about it. And again, uh, let me know what you guys think proceeding forward with recording style. I understand that the frames are getting pretty darn bad. Um, so if you'd rather see more... Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how else to do it because it... It takes forever if I'm, if I'm just doing, hey, look at what I built, now I'm going to go build some more. Hey, this is, I mean, you're talking about like a couple minute segments every every few, like half hour or something like that. Um, so that could be kind of intense. But I really don't know what else to do with it. So let me know if you guys are okay with the frame rate or if it's starting to bother you, stuff like that. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.